What's up? As requested by some of you, I'm going to review the latest video by Jeff Nippert. It's called The Most Attractive Body Type According to Science. Does having more muscle make you more attractive? It's a good question. One of the main reasons that... No, it's not a good question. Um, it's just because you're delusional. You want to believe it because you know that you're generally not attractive. That's it. People get into lifting is to attract a partner. But are all those hours in the gym actually worth it? I wanted to find out, so I asked 50,000 people. Do you think more plates equals more dates? Girls care more about your personality, not so much like how much weight you're lifting. Yeah, exactly. That's what they care about, your personality, which doesn't exist in nature. If you're really strong, I think that's very attractive. It can definitely help. If you're very strong, um, it's attractive. She probably means height, realistically. Would she be attracted to a guy who's short, like Jeff, if he's strong? No, of course not, because it has nothing to do with strength. A guy who's taller but can lift less is going to be way more attractive than a short guy who can lift more man-made metal for no reason, obviously. I made a video about Jeff a while ago, and uh, I mentioned his height, and some people got upset that I even mentioned his height. He is below average in height. What do you want me to say? That he isn't? Should I lie and say that he's a tall, big guy? <laughs> he will, of course, always be small because women only see your height. They don't look at your muscles. Stop living in uh, denial. Why are you so upset that I mention his size? It's not as if I try to offend him in some way. If you're offended by me talking about his height, then uh, you have your issues. You're being offended because you're hurt by the truth. More dates by becoming more confident and getting really good at any craft and just being you. Yes, exactly. Confidence always helps. If Danny DeVito would simply be more confident, then women would find him more attractive because that's what it's truly all about. You, man. No. Why does he jump around and laugh like that? It's not helping his cause. It just proves everything I said. I'm like, the more you live, the less days you go on. I told them. That's very true, actually. It really is. Select their body type on this chart and then choose the body that they found the most attractive. Probably 57. Are you serious? I was so surprised by what people said that I had to ask some more questions. Would you be more likely to go on a date with... The problem is that you ask women who go to a gym who already have uh, at least some slight body dysmorphia themselves, you need to go and ask women on the streets. And there are interviews of women who talk about this topic on the streets, and all of them say that they don't like anybody who does any kind of bodybuilding, who works out. They are just not into those kind of uh, guys because their bodies don't look attractive, and that's because their bodies look unnatural. The guy, if he can bench press at least two plates. I don't care. And would you be more likely to... Oh my God, how can you ask something so stupid? As if a woman cares about you lifting man-made metal up and down. And if that was a serious question, then this guy is deluded. Go on a date with a guy if he has more muscle. Yes. Do you think that people who are... That could also just mean that he shouldn't be uh, super skinny because... Uh, more muscle? Would a woman actually be into more muscle? Would a woman be into a body such as Arnold Schwarzenegger's back in the day? Of course not. All of them find it extremely disgusting because he was so severely obese. A woman doesn't want to be with a guy who's obese or who's underweight also. That's really what she means. Are leaner? Are more happy in relationships? Well, <laughs> I think it depends how lean. I think your sex drive is better when you're not lean. Okay. <laughs> At the end of the Obviously, yeah. Survey, what I found out was that having more muscle could actually help you score more romantic partners and having a bigger bench press might help with romantic success, but. Oh my God, did he just say that? Now let's see if the bigger benchers are actually scoring more partners. Again, here on the x-axis is how much you can bench. So one plate per side, all the way up to four plates per side. And on the y-axis is how- This is so stupid. I can't believe that he made this video. 
how many lifetime intimate partners you've had. As you can see, more plates does, in fact, equal more data. According to what exactly? What are these statistics based on? <laughs> Men who benched more than four plates had, by far, the most partners with a lifetime app. Wait, wait, wait. If you had more partners, then it means that all the girls left you. Then it means that you failed even more at relationships. So you just proved that the more plates you lift, the more dates you get, as in uh, the more women leave you. <laughs> Average of 16. I found this shocking, honestly. I don't know why, I just really didn't expect there to be a trend like this. If anything, I figured the really big bench pressers would be so focused on the gym that they wouldn't have as much time or energy for getting around. I was wrong. But now that I see it this way, I think it can be explained by the fact that stronger men are perceived as more attractive by heterosexual women. Wait, 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 but it says that additional analysis showed that tallness and leanness were also favored along with Estimates of physical strength, uh, count for 80% of men's uh, bodily attractiveness. They saw tall men, which they found attractive, obviously. Otherwise, the more steroids you would take or whatever, the more you would work out, the more attractive you would become because you would have more muscle. But it's not like that whatsoever, right? Everybody knows that. Other research has shown this. And the reason it really shoots up for the four plate benchers is probably because they're more likely to be on steroids. And steroids increase libido by a lot. Of course, not without other side effects. I was also thinking that maybe the bigger benchers have just been training longer. And are there yeah, this guy, look at him. Super attractive, especially that face. He should be modeling. Don't worry, because when you look at every single survey respondent, you can see that clearly there are people with a low bench press who've had loads of partners, and clearly there are people with a big bench press without as many. Most people on Earth don't bench press at all, thankfully. Oh, and the same trend held for the squat and deadlift. More strengths meant more partners. The specific lift doesn't seem to matter much. It's the fact that you're strong that seems to count. But what about women? Do you think stronger women had more partners too? Or did being stronger actually lower the partner count for women? Nope, women showed the same trend as men. More strengths meant more partners. So yes. That makes zero sense. Nobody's attracted to strong women, especially the ones who work out and especially the ones who use drugs. Your strength does predict your partner count, but it's not the most important thing. And it's definitely not the worst thing. Oh my god, how delusional is this guy? So what body type does the best? This part was actually the most surprising to me. I want you to point to the body that you think is most attractive. So as you go down here, there's more muscle. And as you go across here, there's more body fat. I prefer a little bit of a, like not too much muscle. But again, you're asking a girl who's at the gym. It's just really, really biased, really as much as it possibly could be. Okay. I think somewhere in this area over here, this. 40. Girls who are brainwashed to go to the gym, even though they hate it there, will of course be surrounded by these guys and their opinion will be biased, seeing as they are into this uh, gym culture mentality. The guys around, uh, I didn't really see the guys around 20, but maybe 20, 30s look like um, natural men tribesmen, so to speak. The body fat should be uh, not too high, not too low. 43. Okay, we're getting somewhere. One of these? She's also pointing in the same direction. Also for sure, not too much muscle because you just look obese. So I want you to pick one. <laughs> I want you to pick, she just points to him. <laughs> Let's start with- Yeah, you're also asking a girl whose boyfriend is next to her who works out. Really, he couldn't have possibly made it more biased. Body fat. Does having a six pack actually help? Or do guys with more of a dad bod get... Yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio, who's good looking. Even at his age still. You think that any women care about uh, his uh, body much? As in below the face? <laughs> leaner guys weren't doing any better than heavier guys. But just because you have the same number of lifetime partners doesn't necessarily mean that you're more happy with your romantic life. And I think it's- As far as I understand, these statistics are based on the guys he interviewed at the gym. <laughs> but what about women? Did the more jacked women also have more intimate partners or did it flip the other way? Well, let's see. There you go, same trend here more muscle that women had. Again, you're proving that guys don't find women who work out attractive, which is why 
all of the guys leave. All these graphs are just correlations. They can't tell us what. Yes, exactly. I'm glad that he mentions that um, it's not scientific by any definition. It's just garbage. Correlations uh, mean something sometimes, but you should never take them seriously. Causes what? Could be that people who are more muscled are more confident and therefore more likely to actually approach women. It might not be the muscle per se. So to figure out exactly which body type women like the most, I figured I'd just ask them straight up. Which body? Go outside of the gym and ask women. Do you find most attractive? Just point to what level of muscularity you think is most attractive. This one. Okay. As you can see, one is the least muscular and five is the most muscular, with four being around the upper limit of what's achievable naturally. These results were pretty wild. The most attractive physique. It's just stupid because women don't even look at the body if they meet a guy. They look at the face. It's just... <laughs> Uh, this video is so horrible. Speak was level three, or 41% of women said they found level three the most attractive. Only 10% of women found level five most attractive. In fact, more women prefer the second level of muscle. You're again asking women in the gym. It just doesn't make any sense. You don't even get that women don't look at the rest of the body that much. Obviously, you look at the whole body, but... Uh, if you even do, then you look at the height anyway in the first place, not how much muscle somebody has. He just, he just doesn't get what women are even attracted to at all. Muscularity, then the fifth level of muscularity, and that's coming from my audience. Women presumably already more into the gym and possibly biased toward a more muscular look. I okay, at last uh, he mentions that. I think men should be encouraged by this because level two is easily attainable with a relatively healthy diet and just one or two full body. So what? It's not gonna help you if your face is unattractive and if you're short, then women are not gonna find you attractive no matter which one of these levels you achieve. It's just nothing. It's pure coping. Be workouts per week. While to get to level five, you not only need to spend a lot more time in the gym, you'd also probably need to supplement anabolics and deal with their less than desirable side effects. But here's the incredible part. Next, I asked men which level of muscularity they wanted for themselves. What was their goal level of muscle? I want you to notice how different it is from what women said they found the most attractive. Most men said they wanted a level four muscularity. A level five wasn't far behind at 33%. That's not surprising because they are brainwashed. One third of men said they wanted the highest level of muscularity. I think this is worth highlighting. Only 10% of women said they found level five most attractive, while 33% of men are chasing this physique. That's a Yeah, because they are insecure, traumatized. That's what they are dealing with. That's what they want this. They want to look big, even though they feel small on the inside, or they actually are small, such as Jeff. Big gap. Almost no, nobody selected. So what's the point of me getting there? Then? That's what I. That's what I'm <laughs> um, honestly, I had uh, two sandwiches today. I, I started here and now I'm here. I would love to be. Honestly, 28 is pretty great. Yeah. 28. Okay. Do you want to know what she thought was the most attractive? She definitely picked eight. <laughs> she picked eight. Now, I'm obviously not saying that men should only train to aggress women, but since many men do train, at least partly with the goal of attracting women, and on average, women don't prefer level five as much, and since getting to level five would potentially impose health risks, for some... Women don't care about any of these levels, essentially. Of course, you should not be super skinny and malnourished looking, and you should also not be obese with a lot of muscle or a lot of fat. You should just have a natural body, but in the first place, they will look at your face and your height, and you just won't be able to fix that by working out. If anything, you will make your face look worse by working out. And if you will work out while you're a teenager, then you will also stunt your growth. So working out can only make you less attractive. It's not even possible to make you more attractive. It might be worth reconsidering your goal, but out of all of this, I still haven't told you what helps the most, and I still haven't told you what hurts the most. Out of everything I analyzed in my survey, the strongest correlation with dating parameters was, oddly enough, bench press strength. Do you think you'd be even more likely still to go out with a guy if you could bench press three plates? Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Oh my god, the silence before she answered, because she doesn't know what to say to such a stupid question. Men who could bench more seem to go on more dates, be more likely to be in a relationship. Go outside of the gym for like the third, fourth time. You're interviewing the wrong people. And just do better romantically overall. But then I started thinking, 
Maybe there's something even more important that I missed. After all, I didn't ask any questions about height or facial masculinity. So I did some digging and discovered that there's basically an entire field of science dedicated to answering this exact question. The biggest study I could find was this meta-analysis, which looked at more than 170,000 subjects. It took six stereotypically masculine traits and figured out which one was most closely linked to mating and reproductive success. The six traits were height, voice pitch, facial masculinity, testosterone levels, index finger to ring finger ratio, and strength and muscularity. Out of these six physical traits, which do you think was most strongly linked to mating success? It depends on what he means by facial masculinity. The face is obviously the most important part, everybody knows that, but I don't, I'm not sure if that's what he actually means. Because then it would be firstly f the face, and then height. Maybe it was height, or voice pitch. It was actually strength and muscularity. <laughs> Get the f*** out. Ah, f*** off, man. But if you dig into the data, all six of these traits combined only accounted for about 5% of the variance in mating outcomes. In other words, these six things that everyone fixates on don't account for 95% of what goes into romantic success. Uh, what? Yeah, it's how attractive your face is. That's the 95% actually pretty much. Yeah, actually, <laughs> that's what he's missing. The face. Idiot. So the non-physical stuff is more important to you? Yeah, 100%. You can't have it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Non-physical stuff. Uh, Danny DeVito with a good character, money. Great body if he's like stupid or just like... This oh yeah, so if Brad Pitt was stupid, then you wouldn't want to reproduce with him, for sure. To be fair, intelligence is somewhat important. It's a complicated topic. Um, I have a whole uh, long video about this. Have values, it's In short, it's because intelligence is linked to your looks. You can't have good-looking, dumb people. Theoretically, if you suffered from some kind of brain damage, then you could, of course. You're out. Of course, physical attributes do matter. And I think some of the best things you can do in this regard are making sure that you're well-groomed, you smell good, you practice good hygiene, take care of your teeth, you find a hairstyle that works for your face, and you dress with a style that fits your body shape. But even more important is being a good person. Being kind to others is consistently rated as one of the most attractive qualities. Absolutely, I agree. Imagine Danny DeVito being helping. Imagine some woman falls down on the ground and with an angel light out of nowhere, Danny DeVito comes. Let me help you. I will be so loving. I will take care of you. Every woman on earth would fall in love with him. Just look at the guy for people of all genders and sexual orientations. The real reason that women seem to dislike nice guys is that when women picture a nice guy, they're thinking of someone who is needy, clingy, and desperate. But Women don't dislike nice guys or whatever guys. It doesn't really matter what your so-called character is like, as long as you're good looking. It's the neediness and the clinginess that's unattractive, not the niceness. If you're someone who has their... Yeah, if Brad Pitt was... Um needy and clingy, I'm sure that all of the women would push him away, yeah. Together, meaning you take care of yourself. <laughs> and then he shows a good looking guy, nice and cool guy. Oh my God, good self care. Yeah, exactly. That's why women like this actor. You set goals, and you have other cool stuff going on in your life. Yeah, people like him because he has goals and he's up to cool things. This guy is delusional. <laughs> life and you're kind to others you're going to come off as much more attractive. Man, Jeff Nippert is the definition of blue-pilled. Attractive than someone who's just a jerk or an asshole. In my searching, I uncovered this classic study where researchers compared jerks to so-called nice guys. Only 7% of women picked the jerk. And the kinder the man was portrayed, the more desirable he was. And even when the researchers made the jerk more handsome, he still lost 85% of the time. Wait, but how did the nice guy look like and how did the so-called jerk look like because you're showing good looking people on both sides right now and to really put the nail in the coffin for this myth this study surveyed heterosexual bisexual and homosexual men and women in all cases intelligence and kindness were ranked as being more important than physical attractiveness he will just uh, say anything to talk himself into believing that it's not about his height and face it will just be impossible for him to ever admit that. 
except for heterosexual men who rank physical attractiveness in between kindness and intelligence. Still, for women of all sexual orientations, kindness and intelligence... Yeah, because they want to tell you that because women try to be nice, they lie to guys because uh, that's how they grew up. They watched stupid Hollywood romance movies and they were told over and over again by their mothers to be nice to guys. Look up what the word nice actually means. It means that you're dumb. That's where it comes from. They're just fooling dumb guys. I'm not saying that the physical stuff doesn't matter. It does. But the physical stuff that matters the most is probably more within your control than you realize. Like, just working out seems to help. Yeah, yeah you really want to believe that um, we understand that. The reality is that you can somewhat change your attractiveness, but... Uh, if you're already over 20, not really by much. Uh, if you're still young and you haven't hit puberty yet, uh, yes, if you would now change to eating a natural so-called diet, eat what humans eat in nature, then you could actually change the way you will look like still somewhat. Obviously, the best way to do it is to feed your children since they are babies good food. And there's plenty of stuff outside of your looks that might matter even more. It's what's on the inside that will make me stick around. Nah, 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 nah. Physical is like what you're going to be initially attracted to, but that's not going to last forever. So definitely personality is what I'm going to look at the most. As far as I can tell, being a kind person and not taking yourself too seriously is probably your quickest way to become... Yes, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what women are into kind guys it doesn't matter if you're short if you're ugly it's all irrelevant i mean a more attractive person especially if you're looking for long-term romantic success becoming the best version of yourself also entails taking exactly just go to the gym and be kind to women it's the perfect solution taking care of your health and your fitness so if you are interested in losing fat building muscle or both i strongly recommend checking out my gold yeah, he strongly recommends eating 80% grain sludge like a slave. Standard nutrition app, Macrofactor. We just recently hit 150,000. Man, you just showed that you eat grain sludge. You eat seed sludge. Why would anybody get on your app if you're clearly ignorant? ...and active users. So this isn't another small-time influencer app. And there are already thousands of people who've transformed the... So the guy wasn't more attractive. This woman is less attractive now. Nobody likes a six-pack on a woman. Are you delusional? Yes, you are. Their body and health by using the app. Unlike most other diet apps. Face stayed the same. Just same. He's like... Whatever, five out of ten, I don't know. Who cares? Just average, whatever. He just stayed the same. Apps, we don't punish you for missing days here and there or send you stressful alerts. So you yeah. If you're obese and you lose some fat, that's good, but uh, then you should just eat, right? You can be more chill about your diet while balancing other aspects of your life. For any people who are confused about this topic, I would recommend checking out some videos on YouTube, uh, such as the videos by Adrian G. This one, for example. The first question is, what do you think of skinny guys? Um... You mean like skinny, like no muscles or yeah, m muscles? Yeah. I don't like, know. Does it matter? Really, no. No? I don't really... No, it doesn't matter because uh, you're attracted to the face. I think it matters. What do you look... There's a lot of interviews like this. Um, it's really important for guys who are still delusional about this topic. You're going to be miserable for the rest of your life if you don't accept reality. In general, when it comes to any topic, but especially when it comes to your height and your face, you just need to realize how attractive you are. Sure, you can uh, somewhat improve your face, not really much. You won't be able to improve your height except if you do a surgery, and I don't recommend it. I've made a video about this. It will be much easier for you to go through life understanding where you're at when it comes to how attractive you are to women. Because if you're going to be delusional about it, like Jeff Nipper is, then you're going to be coping, compensating, going to the gym, aging your body, creating more wrinkles on your face, actually making your 
himself less attractive. But of course, in his uh, statistics, uh, there was no head. You couldn't see the face. It's as if he completely ignores it because this guy is just completely focused on the rest of the body because he knows that he cannot achieve anything with his face or his height. Of course, I get it. But this is what you get, these kind of delusional videos. And uh, then you're going to be the laughingstock of uh, a lot of people who actually do see the reality of what's going on. There's just nature. You cannot get away from nature. It doesn't matter if you live in a city or a modern society. Women will always find the same attractive, the same way men will always find the same attractive. And that's because it's human nature. <laughs> it doesn't matter, of course, if somebody is laughing about you, but as long as you realize that you make stupid, delusional and funny videos, then it's fine. But he actually believes that he isn't. He's actually really convinced. You can tell that uh, women are into muscular bodies and kind guys. And as long as you're kind and you go to the gym, that women will find you attractive. It's a very severe delusion. He really doesn't want to accept reality. Thanks for watching.